Electrical activity of the neurons, impulse generation and propagation. If two electrodes are placed on the surface of the cell membrane of a neuron and connected to a measuring device, there will be no electrical change detected. However, if one of the electrodes is pushed into the cell and the other one on the surface, the recording will show that the inside of the cell is negative to that of the outside. This one is referred to as the resting membrane potential or the transmembrane potential. The resting membrane potential is caused by distribution of ions inside and outside of the neuron. And the inside of the neuron contains large negatively charged organic particles such as proteins, while the outside has positively charged ions. The movement of smaller positively and negatively charged inorganic molecules occurs through the spatial channels. And the cell membrane also has active pumps that use the energy to pump ions in and out. Therefore, at rest the inside is maintained more negative than the outside. At rest, the inside of the neuron has more potassium ions and protein, and the outside has more sodium and chloride ions because the cell membrane is not freely permeable to the ions. If it was, the ions could diffuse in and out to equalize the composition in and out of the cell. In this case, because of a semi-permeability, the ions only move in and out of the cell through channels on the cell membrane, which are specific for each ion. What are membrane channels now? The cell membrane of the nerves, like those of other cells, contain many different types of ion channels, which are the voltage-gated channels, and these voltage-gated channels are operated by changes in voltage. The ligand-gated channels which are operated by hormones and other chemicals. And these channels open when the chemical binds to its receptor sites on the cell membrane. Lastly, we have mechanically regulated channels, and these ones are regulated mechanically. At rest, there is a leak of sodium into the cell and potassium out of the cell. More potassium leaves the cell than sodium enters into the cell. This is one of the reasons why the inside of the nerve is negative at negative 70 millivolts. And to combat the leak, a pump on the cell membrane, the sodium-potassium pump or sodium-potassium ATPs, constantly pushes sodium out of the cell and brings potassium into the cell using energy. The neurons communicate with each other by changing the electrical potential inside the cell. This is achieved by movement of ions in and out of the cells and is determined by the permeability of the nerve cell membrane and these nerve cells have a low threshold for excitation. The stimulus may be electrical, chemical or mechanical. We have two types of physical chemical disturbances which are produced. That is the local or non-propagated potentials and the propagated disturbances which are known as the action potentials or nerve impulses. They are due to changes in the conduction of ions across the cell membranes that are produced by alteration in ion channels. What is an action potential? When a cell is stimulated, the sodium channels open and the sodium diffuses into the cell along its electrochemical gradient. The inside of the cell becomes less negative and this is known as depolarization. When the stimuli is removed, the cell returns to its resting membrane potential soon after the original state, and that is known as repolarization. When a neuron is sufficiently stimulated, we polarize it into a threshold value of about negative 60 to negative 55 millivolts. Many voltage-gated sodium channels are opened and sodium rushes in, further depolarizing the cell, and this depolarization is rapid and propagated throughout the cell along the axon. Therefore, an action potential or nerve impulse is referred to as a rapid change in potential that is propagated along the cell. The direction of propagation of action potential is from the dendrite to all the cell body down to an axon. As a result of opening and closing of the other voltage gated channels, the depolarization does not last long and the cell is repolarized to its original resting potential. The voltage-gated sodium channels close when the potential becomes more and more positive. And the voltage-gated potassium channels open and potassium rushes out of the cell 
people realizing that sir, a decrease in extracellular calcium concentration also increases the excitability of the nerve and muscle cells by decreasing the amount of depolarization necessary to initiate the changes in the sodium and potassium conductance which produce the action potential. Conversely, an increase in extracellular calcium concentration stabilizes the membrane by decreasing the excitability.